This is 2017 Honda Pilot. No, just kidding. Honda Pilot's over here. This is the 2017 Honda Pilot. Braking vibration. So let's say you're doing 40 mile per hour and you run into a stop. You're slowing down, but you create vibrate on your foot and the steering wheels. So this is the rotor wars. It's very new, but a lot of miles, almost 100,000 miles already. And never be done any rotor turn or rotor is not that expensive about $59 uh, from auto part so I'm going to replace those two go to uh, use a punch you may use a screwdriver but you have to have a good lever to get that out if you don't recommend to have this one of these punch okay what I talk about a good lever is like this using the screwdriver but you have to force so hard and then turn like this if it spin like this don't worry okay put a flat screwdriver to lock in right there so it won't turn and then you're using this right here see that now if you don't have a punch okay what I mean a punch this is especially using for punching the uh, bolt right there or anything hard and you punch it. This is like twice, probably three times that faster turn than this right here. And you can turn this up. Now, I think auto part maybe it can loan you one. If they don't, then do what exactly I do right here. You can put right here. You can put right here, and it forces hard so it won't strip your screw. If you don't have a brake clubber um, opening tool like this, or any other one, you can go renting from Auto Part. They do have two over there. If you too shy to go ask them for rent and you don't want to go renting one it's a free but you don't want to go what you have to do is just pry the brake pad against the, the rotor and it's closing it's open all the way then you can detach from the back here opening so many ways you can do it some people say, yeah, you don't pry like that, you will damage here and there. Of course not. If you do slowly and you do, you know, evenly, pry these two out evenly, okay? It's the same thing, you're using one of these to press that. Take this out, the bottom one. And flip this open. Now the two pin here is already come out. Whatever you take out, put it back where it belongs. So you see this one doesn't have the uh, scrape pin. The scrape pin is on the top and on the inner one. If you have this clever tool, then you just put it right here. If you want to buy one of this, cheap. You can get it from online, made in China stuff. Work good, work pretty good. What you do is just pressing like this. That just push the piston all the way out, okay? I don't think they have one of this to rent at the auto part. The auto part one is a little bit different, I will show you which is this right here and you can get this renting from auto part I know for sure because I renting over there before okay the back is number 19 okay. 
hang this up here. If you live in the northern side, have snow, make sure you sand it real good and uh, put the new ones in. Okay, the new rotor clean already. So make sure you're clean with the brake cleaner because you don't clean this okay. Uh, it won't hurt when you're using it, it will clean by itself. But prefer just use a brake cleaner to clean all the grease that uh, oil in the with the uh, rotor and that will give you a better grip right away so if you don't have one this if you don't have one okay if you do have one of this punch is plus okay a couple times to make sure it's tight Okay. That's it for the uh, rotor. Now, time to put this one back in there. And I'm going to first fast forward a little bit. Okay, same thing down here. I'm going to torque the 19 bolt here to. 53 foot pound Now if you don't have one you can renting one or if you don't want to use one You probably don't have to use it um, Many time I do it. I didn't use it uh, For accuracy to get this enough torque to to tie this uh, Clubber bracket that's basically and um, if you over tight I would say this probably handle up to 100 foot pound already because it's 19 uh, uh, bolt. It's handle a lot, you know, almost the same size as this right here. And this is about a 94 foot pound, 90 to 94 foot pound, and you can do over 110, still, still not breakable. Okay, so they just want to make sure you're tight enough. Okay. Hear that click that means tight and the one right here is a 25 foot pound only that's 25 foot pound and that's the number 17 I'm gonna put my new pad on for selecting your brake pad I recommend it at dealership stuff but you can get it out the market the great the best one and it's not as good as a manufacturer one but they're still very good and they do tempting last for a lifetime so that means you buy one time you don't have to buy it again because they went empty it just go get a refill from the from the auto part that you buy it from most of my part, I will get it from AutoZone and O'Reilly. Why? It's more convenient for me, closest to my house. And um, when you do a replacement, they have no question to ask you because this and that, okay? They will replace it for you, no problem. And then you put your return pins on. Don't forget on that. Very important. Oop. Very important one to return pin. I would say one hand hold it and one hand put the pins in. So it won't pop out. You can use the old pin if your car is still new. This pin probably don't. They 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 have a I don't know they call memory metal. So it, it's probably still good. Even though it's so hot on you know when you uh Brake clubber so hard, and this probably still good. So um, I got the new one, so I didn't use new one. Pretty much is that's it. And make sure torque it to 25 foot pound. If you don't have torque, 
make sure it's not pretty good that's all you do and uh, uh, every single bolt that you see in your car they do have torque on it you know and sometimes you don't because it's not necessary to make sure it's tight and it doesn't come off that that's the most important thing and don't over tight it because you may break the uh, the bolt because you look at the side of the bolt if if like this one's a 17 for you to break it you have to force so hard and for 19 you probably have to use your almost your whole body to break it and if you don't break that okay make sure it's not good and that is a 25 foot pound only and the other one is this, uh, 53 you get 53 60 that's okay it doesn't hurt on that because bolts big okay now it's high back on and that's it simple and easy thank you for watching subscribe bye bye now